Well, we were able today to come out here to River Terrace, and Shelly was wonderful to let us come out, and Mary Beth Boone brought the hats, and we visited with several of the ladies here. Now, Mary Beth, what did you find so special about today? It was great. We did Hat Etiquette 101. These ladies were so interactive and fun to be around. They enjoyed the hats. I think the Roaring Twenties and the romantic idea of the hat that's timeless came back to life today. I think so. I think it was wonderful. Did you find a hat that you found that was I special? did. The one model that we had that had the long shape face. Yes. It was just interesting to see how that hat was a silhouette around the shape of her face. Uh, it was very unique. It is neat to find out that a hat actually either enhances your look or it it doesn't. That's so you right. have to, Mary Beth's really good about helping you pick out a hat that fits your frame of your face or your height or your dress. And We want you to be comfortable in the hat that you choose because you're going to be wearing it all day. So we don't want you to ditch the hat. We want the hat to stay on your head. So we want it to be fun. We want it to compliment, as Shelly said, the long face, the oval face, or the round face. So we can tell you and recommend which hat better serves your face. Right. And there's something really unique that we found out today that you know, most people pick out their dress first or their shoes first, but actually you should be picking out what? You pick out your hat. Your hat your is hat the first. event. It's the entrance. It's the first thing that people see when you walk through the room. So we like to recommend that people go for the hat first and then they pull their ensemble together. I think that's very good advice. It really is. Is there anything else that uh, maybe we should let them know about the women here in the River Terrace? Well, I think we had a great participation today and they definitely showed interest, I believe, in the hats and just with the fashion uh, events style that's right. coming up. Um, I know the ladies are interested in coming as well. So we're anxious to have Blush and Mary Beth and you back too, Debbie, to River Terrace to share some more ideas with us. Oh, I think we're going to come back though, aren't we? I think we are. I think I think we are. So this will be fun. We're going to actually um, do some things with the ladies here. We'll be coming back to visit. Mary Beth is going to bring some things, um, different things from the store, and we're going to uh, either... We're going to try to be interactive with yes. Shelly a little bit more too and, and show the ladies and show River Terrace how they can be, um, have a DIY event with some of these activities yes. to, Absolutely. to maybe yes. make their own hats. Absolutely. Uh, garden club and horticultural, yes. yep. all, all the things that we do at Blush and the French tulip with the floral is uh, just such a great attribute to Absolutely. share with this facility. Yes. So you may see Shelly in her own homemade hat here before long. So. <laughs> I'm not very crafty in that Oh, sense. I don't know. I you might be surprised. Shelley, I sing, but I don't sew. Okay? She'll be surprised. She'll be surprised. Shelly is a jack of all trades. <laughs> yes, she is. She is. Well, I've had a great time today. And I I'm, have too. I as well. I think this is wonderful. <laughs> this, this is just such a great way to get Derby off it is. Yes. And, and running. It is. And it's a great great way to make a signature stamp for Madison too about this wonderful living facility uh, about absolutely. about uh, amenities that they can have close yes. to this yes. facility yes. absolutely and we're so honored that we were asked yes. to come well so thank, thank you. you so much we are oh. the one that are, that's honored we, really. we had a ball I tell you this was wonderful to watch the ladies smile and, yes. and perk up when they were looking at everything and talking about the hat well and I loved what, what Mary Beth said you know as we age it can be challenging yes but if we learn to embrace what we truly love, it makes it a lot easier. It does. So, it does. That's, so now we have a good saying for the ladies. <laughs> we, do. we do. We do. They can embrace the aging yes. process yes. and everything that comes with it. Yes. So that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, do we have anything else we need to tell people about besides the advanced? We, we just want to remind everybody and Madison and the community that the Advanced Style event yes. is coming up on April the 16th. So we look forward to seeing you in the audience and for you to see the participants in our community yes. that are going to be showcased in this event. Now this event, you have to realize that these ladies that are going to be modeling are between the ages of 70 and 100 and they are going to arrive in a limo on the red carpet. They're going to come in and, and do their modeling and then afterwards we're going to watch a video of the original. The documentary, the, the yes. ladies in Manhattan that were followed around by a New York photographer. So they're going to, um, you have some ostentatious models and you have some Coco Chanel models. So <laughs> we have a little bit of both and we have a, a, a nice harmony here um, with this living facility and the people, the, the ladies that we met today of a, a future clientele base that we think will be very fun to work with. Very oh, fun. I think so. This has been great. Great so. diverse group. I can't wait to do it again. Me so. either. Well, 
this is wonderful. Make sure you try to make it out. If you need a ticket for the advanced styles, go to Mary Beth Boone at Blush on May or go to Rodney Nay at Morgan and Nay Funeral Home up on the hill. And we hope to see everyone there dressed out and just looking dapper. So make sure you come out.